round 39, we're using color H. We want to find any of the single crochet pico from last round. And we're going to start in the first back post single just after the pico. We'll start with a single crochet. We're going to skip these next three back post single and in the single crochet two together, we're going to make a treble V stitch fan. So we'll treble crochet in that back post single crochet two together. Chain one, repeat, treble in the same stitch, chain one, and one more treble in that same stitch. So that's our treble V stitch fan. Skip the three back post single, single crochet in that last back post single before the next picot. Chain one. This chain one will go behind the picot and we'll repeat again, starting with that single crochet in the next back post single, the one just after the picot. Treble v stitch fan in that back post single two together so we're skipping three stitches before working this treble v stitch fan treble chain one treble chain one one more treble skip the three stitches single crochet in that knack next back post single chain one and continue so we'll repeat that around, joining to our starting stitch. Do not fasten off. So there should be 33 of these treble V-stitch bands, 33 chain one spaces and 66 single crochet. So round 40, continuing with color H, we'll chain one and place a single crochet in that same stitch where we joined single crochet in this next treble, single crochet in the chain one space. We'll repeat that, single crochet in the treble, in the chain one space, and place a single crochet in that next treble, and in the single crochet. Single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet in the next single. We'll continue that all the way around. So single crochet in each stitch and chain one space. Once you've worked your way around, you'll join with a slip stitch to our starting single crochet and you can fasten off. Round 41, we're using color C. We want to join in a single crochet behind any of those picot. We're joining with a slip stitch. We're going to make a beginning popcorn in this stitch. So we'll chain three first, and then work four double crochet into that same stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four double crochet all worked in that starting stitch. We'll remove our hook from the loop, find the chain three, insert in the top chain of that chain three, and put the loop back on the hook, pull that loop through, which closes the popcorn. We'll chain four, skip three stitches, and in that next stitch, we're going to make a popcorn. So now we make five double crochet in that stitch. Four and five. Again, remove the hook, insert in the first stitch, pull that loop through to make a popcorn. Chain four, skip three stitches, and we'll repeat. So popcorn in the next. We 
which is those five double crochet, insert in the first double crochet, pull the loop through, chain four, skip three stitches, and repeat. So we'll work that all the way around. So once you've worked your way around, we will just join with a slip stitch to our starting popcorn. I like to insert in that center part or the eye of the popcorn. You can go ahead and fasten off. 66 popcorn, 66 chain four spaces. Round 42, using color D, we're going to join with a slip stitch between any two popcorns in the middle skipped stitch between those two popcorns. We'll work a beginning cluster, so we chain two, double crochet in that same stitch. As we're working, we're working in front of the chain four from last round. Chain three, and we'll work a double crochet cluster in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert in the same stitch to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Then we'll repeat, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. There should be three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops for that double crochet cluster. Then we'll chain two. And we're going to find that next middle skip stitch between the popcorns. And we'll work a double crochet cluster. I'll do that once again. Chain three and a second double crochet cluster. Yarn over, insert, make a partial double crochet, repeat. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Chain two. So we'll repeat that around. Once you've worked your way around, you're going to have those chain two go behind the popcorn and the clusters will be in between the popcorns. And so on. So once you've worked your way around, you'll join to our starting beginning cluster and you can fasten off. So just a reminder, once you've worked your way around to make sure that all these popcorns come to the front and the chain two goes behind the popcorns. You will have 132 clusters, 66 chain three and 66 chain two. Round 43, we're using color A. We're going to join in this chain three between any of the two double crochet clusters. We want to insert under that chain three. We also want our hook to go under the chain four from round 41 as well. We are going to make a single crochet to join our yarn. And in the same space, spaces and closing both of those chains will make two more single crochet. And then starting with this next stitch this is the start of our repeat. We want to single crochet in the popcorn making sure that we enclose that chain two as well. So I'm inserting in that center of the popcorn making sure my hook is under the chain two from last round to place a single crochet. And then three single crochet in this next space between the clusters and closing the chain four as well. So we'll continue that around. Single crochet in the popcorn and closing the chain two of last round 
three single crochet in between the clusters and closing both of the chains. So again, you can work that all the way around, joining to our first stitch with a slip stitch, but do not fasten off. 264 single crochet. Round 44, we want to slip stitch into the next stitch, which will be the center, the middle stitch of the group of three made between those two clusters. We'll skip the next stitch. And then in this next stitch, we're going to make a small shell and that's made up of a double crochet, chain one, repeat, double crochet, chain one, and one more double crochet. So three double crochet with a chain one in between. For a small shell, skip the next stitch, slip stitch in the next. And we'll repeat that around. Skip a stitch, small shell in the next. Skip a stitch, slip stitch in the next, skip a stitch. So we've worked two repeats, you'll want to do that 66 times around. And these small shells should be made in the stitch above the popcorn. You'll join to our starting slip stitch at the end of the round and fasten off. So once we've worked this all the way around, our final slip stitch will go in the same stitch as our join from last round. We can go ahead and fasten off color A. There will be 66 large shells and 66 slip stitches. Round 45, using color B, we want to join with a single crochet to the first double crochet of any of the small shells. So single crochet in the first double of a small shell. Two single crochet in the chain one space single crochet in the double crochet. We'll do that once more. Two single crochet in the space, single in the double. We're going to make a spike slip stitch into the next chain three space between these two clusters and closing all of the color A stitches. So to do that, we're going to insert down into that space between the two clusters, yarn over, pull up our loop, and we'll pull that up to the height of our stitches to finish a slip stitch. Then working on the small shell, single crochet, in the double crochet, two singles in the space. Repeat, single in the double, two singles in the space, single in the double. Spike slip stitch in between those two double crochet clusters. We'll repeat that all the way around. You can join with a slip stitch to our starting single crochet at the end of the round and fasten off. Round 46, using color C, we want to find the fourth single crochet of the small shell. So that's the single crochet worked into that sort of center spoke above the popcorn. Working in the back loop only, we'll make a single crochet to start this round. We'll work back loop only for all of this round. We'll half double crochet in that next stitch. Double crochet two together. 
in this next single crochet first. So we insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're gonna skip the next single, the spike, slip stitch, and the next single. And then working in that next stitch, back loop only, we'll insert, pull up a loop. Sorry, we'll yarn over first, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops for that double crochet, two together. Half double crochet in the next single, single crochet in the next, which should be the center stitch of that next small shell. So we'll repeat that all the way around. Half double crochet, back loop only of the next stitch, double crochet two together in the next stitch, skipping the single, the spike, slip stitch, and the next single, placing the second part of that double crochet two together in that next stitch. Half double crochet in the next, single in the next. So I'll let you work that all the way around, joining to our starting stitch at the end. Do not fasten off. 264 stitches. For round 47, continue where we left off. We will chain one and place a half double crochet in that same stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch two half double crochet in the next which should be the double crochet two together so two half in there half double crochet in each of the next three stitches one two and three so we'll repeat that around two half double crochet in the double crochet two together half double crochet in each of the next three stitches so repeat that around, joining to our starting stitch, and you can fasten off at the end of the round. 330 half double crochet. Round 48, we're using color H. We want to find where we've made two half double crochet in the same stitch, and then we have a set of three half double crochet in a row. In the middle of that set, we want to join our color H with a slip stitch and chain three. This chain three is the first of the part of a beginning popcorn, so we'll place four double crochet in that same stitch. That's two, three, and four. For the start of our beginning popcorn, remove the hook from the loop, find the top of the chain three, insert from the front to the back, pick up the loop, and pull that loop through the chain three to make our beginning popcorn. We'll chain six. Skip four stitches one two three and four and then in this next stitch which should be the middle stitch of a group of three again we'll place a popcorn five double crochet in oops go. five double crochet in that stitch Insert in the first double crochet and pull the loop through, chain six. Skip those four stitches again and repeat. So we'll work that all the way around, joining to our starting popcorn at the end of the round and fastening off. So after our last popcorn chain six, we will join two our starting popcorn to end the round. Fasten off. 66 popcorn, 66 chain six. 
Round 49, we're going to use color D. We want to start after any of the popcorns, but we're going to be working into the stitches of round 47, working in front of round 48. So we want to find the second stitch after a popcorn, so that'll be the first of a set of two worked into one stitch. So we'll join with the slip stitch to that stitch and work a beginning double crochet cluster. So it's chain two, double crochet in that same stitch for our beginning double crochet cluster. We'll chain two, work a double crochet two together, inserting in the same stitch for the first part to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and leave those two loops on the hook. We'll yarn over again, and in this next stitch, insert our hook to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook for that double crochet two together. So we're going to chain two. We want to work another double crochet cluster in the same stitch as the second part of our double crochet two together. So we'll yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Once more, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through all three. So double crochet cluster, chain two, a double crochet two together, chain two, double crochet cluster. We'll work a front post single around the top of the popcorn. So insert under the chain in front of the popcorn, around the back, out the next chain up our loop and finish the front post single crochet. Then in the second stitch after the popcorn, we'll repeat that with a double crochet cluster, chain two. Double crochet two together in the same stitch and the next stitch chain two, and double crochet cluster in that same stitch, front post single around the popcorn. So we'll work that all the way around and I'll join you at the end of the round. So there will be 66 front posts, single crochet, 132 chain two spaces, and 198 double crochet clusters. That includes the double crochet two together. Round 50, we're going to use color A. We'll join with a single crochet to any of the front post singles made around the popcorn. We'll chain two skip the double crochet cluster, single crochet in the chain two space, and repeat. Chain two, skip the cluster, single crochet in the space. Chain two, skip the next cluster, single crochet in the front post single. So we'll just work that all the way around. Chain two, single crochet in the chain two space twice, chain two, single crochet. So you can go ahead and work that around, joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round, but do not fasten off. So 198 chain two spaces, 198 single crochet. Round 51, continuing with color A, We'll skip the chain two space, and in the next chain two space, we're going to make a large shell. A large shell for this round is double crochet, chain one, four times. So that's two, three, and four times. We'll place one more double crochet in that same chain two space. We'll slip stitch in the next single crochet, and that single crochet should be above a popcorn stitch. We'll repeat that around. Skip the next chain two space in the next one, 
we'll work that large shell. Four double crochet, chain one, plus one more double crochet, skip the chain two space, slip stitch in the single crochet. We'll work that all the way around and I'll join you just at the end of the round. So once we've worked this all the way around, our final slip stitch will go in the same stitch as our join from last round. We can go ahead and fasten off color A. There will be 66 large shells and 66 slip stitches. Round 52, this is the last round for our part three. We're going to take a color B we're going to work into the front post single of round 49. So that's this gold stitch here, working over top of these last two rounds. So with the slip knot on hook, we'll insert in that front post single above any popcorn, yarn over, pull the loop up to where we're working and pull through for that spike slip stitch. We'll skip the first double crochet of this large shell, two single crochet in the chain one space. So I'm just going to tighten up my loop from that slip stitch a bit. So two single crochet in the chain one space. So we'll skip double crochet, two single crochet in the chain one space. We'll do that a total of four times. Skipping that last double crochet and then working the spike slip stitch. So we'll work that all the way around. The four sets of two single crochet in chain one spaces. spike slip stitch. Okay, so you can go ahead and work that around and I'll join you at the end of the round. So when you've worked all the way around, we will just slip stitch in that first spike slip stitch and you can fasten off. There'll be eight single crochet per large cell, shell and 66 spike slip stitches. And that completes part three.